Ciao, welcome to Beatspot, I'm Marco and this video is sponsored by Sony Bubble and I'm reviewing two of their plugins. PureQ is SmartQ4, so let's dive into it. So these are the two interfaces. On the left we have a PureQ and it's the simplest plugin of the two, as you can see. And then we have SmartQ4, which is a fully capable digital modern EQ that has some AI implemented in it. PureQ has AI implemented too, but I see them as different tools. So PureQ sounds more like a sort of sound preparator. So if you have, let's say, a kick drum, which has some flows, some problems, you can just run it through PureQ and quickly fix it with very minimal controls and get started with the rest of the mixing. While SmartQ4 can still do the same thing but it has more kind of editing capabilities you can be more creative and more surgical with it so the pure q entirely relies on ai and this kind of sound fingerprint sound profiles they came up with while smart q4 can be used as an eq or dynamic eq without using all the sound profiles feature. So now let's start with PureQ. So here's the GUI. We have the monitoring button, then we can select the sound profile and let's just run some drums into it. And here we have a freestyle, so neutral, bright. Then we have the dynamic. So if we go to zero, it's a static behavior, while if we go at 100, it, it's a dynamic cue. And then we have the high pass and the low pass. So that's pretty much it. Now let's give a look at Smart Q4. So Smart Q4 is a fully capable plugin. So let's go to the default settings. If we click anywhere, we can create nodes. We can set them to stereo, mid, side, and also dynamic, like most other EQs on the market. Then we have the AI implementation too. So now let's go to drums, drum set. Let's make it learn how this drum kit sounds. So we can see the difference, then we have the impact. So we have the impact of the computer smart filter. Let's, it's just like a scale knob, so. Then we have the width, then we have the smoothing, it will have the adaptive. which is kind of the same thing as the dynamic in pure EQ. Now let's give a look at all the sound profiles that come with these plugins. So with pure EQ, we have universal bass, a bunch of drums, so drums at hi-hat, kick, snare, etc. So these are all the sound profiles, while Smart EQ 4 has more of them. So we have the same for the instruments, and then we have mixes, so we can run full mixes into Smart Q4, and they are sorted by genre. And here we also have electronic, so we have distinction between 
bass music, EDM, house, techno, then we have hip-hop, classic trap, and so on. So the great thing about these sound profiles is that they aren't like fixed curve, but they use, they leverage AI to learn about the sound and they are kind of target frequencies. So they have a target curve, they learn how the input sound sounds, and then they create a EQ curve that helps the input sound achieve the target frequency response curve. So that's why it's really important for the plugin to audition the input sound, to get used to it, to learn all the different nuances uh, so it can uh, craft the best preset for your sound. So now how the two plugins compare in terms of sound, we will go through different sounds and what you're hearing is uh, like the clean result that came out the plugin, so I didn't touch anything. This is what you just, uh, this is just what happens when you click audition and listen to the result. So let's start with the drums. Now let's move to these sample. Now let's listen to it on vocals. Shot town hitter, shot town spitter. I'm cool with the flow like a shot town winner. I'm shot so fly, no reply, no quitter. I'm a do, no try, I'm a shot go getter. I'm south side raised and made. Hit the b ball courts at Dolphin Park is where we play until they shot them up. My pop said that was the bottoms up. Next thing I knew was we was moving in some kind of truck. Welcome to Mac. So it's pretty obvious that Pure Q sounds a bit more dull than the Smart Q4. I think the kind of same sound can be achieved while tweaking a bit, but that's not really the point. They have two different sounds, and that's why I see them as different tools for different purposes. Now, as a bonus, let's listen to Smart Q4 on the Mix Bus. We aren't listening to Pure Q on the Mix Bus because it doesn't feature a sound profile for full mixes, just as Smart Q4 does. With Steen, I'm a shot town hitter, shot town spitter. I'm cool with the flow like a shot town winner. I'm shot so fly, no reply, no quitter. I'm a do, no try, I'm a shot go getter. I'm south side raised and made. Hit the beat ball courts at Dolphin Park is where we play until they shot them up. My pop said that was the bottoms up. Next thing I knew was we was moving. So I can say it's doing something I like. It's making it a bit more present, brighter, but not in a harsh way. So these are both tools I use sometimes, not all the times because I just know how to mix my stuff, but whenever I encounter some problems, I just leverage these plugins to have a different perspective on how I want to mix or an individual sound or how to kind of tweak the tonal balance of the whole mix. So don't really expect to Take these plugins, use the audition button, and just have the mix ready. This is kind of like the last 10, 15 percent, and it's nice because it helps you reaching the 100 percent you have in your head, or it also helps you learning how a given sound should sound. Of course, you don't have to take these sound profiles as the absolute truth. They have their own reasons, they are a respectable brand, so they kind of studied how each sound should sound, so they are quite reliable. At the time of recording this video, there's no alternative that I know of, or at least that sounds as good as these two plugins. You can find the links in the description down below. So that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.